This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Investigate, modify, run the program, and observe the results. I can do that. Smack in the run. Well, by that I mean clicking. Betsy, computer science enrolled. All right, so what's going on here, guys? We have a Boolean, is enrolled. We set that equal to true. We then have two objects that we're instantiating. A course object. Oh, yep, there's our course class. Uh, we're passing it the name of the course, I assume, and the status. Here's the course constructor, name of course, and status. Cool. All right, so we created that, we instantiated it, and we named my course our course object. Student, we instantiate a student object, my student, and we pass it a, a student name, I guess, which is Betsy. And Betsy apparently is going to be attending or enrolled, yep, uh, in the course. Cool. All right. And then we're going to print it all out, print uh, system out, print ln my student. And that will... And that will result and that will result in this getting printed, the student's name, and then all the contents of the course class. Okay. Look at the drop course method in student.java. Got it? What do you notice about its parameter? Does the parameter get a copy of course object when the method is called? Interesting. So the drop course, right? It has a course parameter, the course. And what it's asking is if it's getting an actual copy of the object as opposed to a reference value is what they're getting at. And what I mean by that is if the parameter is a duplicate of it, then when I would edit this, it would not change the original object. And it looks like they're going to have us test that here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this in the my console at the following, and I'll do it right here. Uh, Control V for paste or Command V if you're on a Mac. Cool. Now let's see what this does. Yep. And so what is this showing us? Well, my student, let's see, my student should just print Betsy in the class. So that would be this. My course drop is run. Then we print uh, a blank line, quapow, and my student again, which shows Betsy drop the class. And then we paint, uh, we print just the course out. Now, notice the course status has changed even though we didn't directly change the course status. What we did though, is we provided our student class, the course, and then when we dropped a class, we provided it the course. And so the object was changed. It was not a copy of the object. You know, if I write a string or here, if, if you were to pass it int five or int x equals five, and I had some logic in here that said, and then I added two to y, it's not gonna actually edit the original data at all. What it's gonna do is be contained within this method. However, we are passing an object and passing an object, it's passing it by reference, which means that when we change something within the object, the actual object itself is changing. It's not duplicating the object. Run the program, uh, yep. Look at the set status method. What do you notice about the parameter? Does the parameter get a copy? Yes. Add the following in the my console, add the following code. Whoops, left that. Yes. And so now guys, the difference here is this is a a primitive data type. Boolean is a primitive data type. When you pass primitive data types like int, bools, they don't get changed. There's a copy being generated here. Cool. Run the program. What do you notice? Yep. What do you think will happen if my student variable is set to point to a different student object? In the council, add the following. And let's see. Sarah, my course, has been dropped. And so when I print the student after reassigning it, yeah, that's just fine. The student actually gets reassigned. Cool. Well, I'm excited to see what else we're doing with this. Onward.